Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about what we can expect from WandaVision, how it will explore Scarlet Witch's powers and how she got them, and what it means for mutants and the X-Men in MCU. If you're new to the channel or even if you've been watching for a while, make sure you subscribe because more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you think that you're subbed, double check because apparently there's a glitch where people are getting unsubscribed from certain channels. And remember that a subscription is free for you, but it really helps the channel a lot. And you can always unsub later if you want. Now let's get started. Kevin Feige was recently interviewed by Empire where he talked about Scarlet Witch, WandaVision, and Mutants. He starts off by saying that if you look at the Infinity Saga, I don't think any single person has gone through more pain and trauma than Wanda Maximoff. No other character seems to be as powerful as Wanda Maximoff, and no character has a power set that is as ill-defined and unexplored as Wanda Maximoff, so it seemed like exploring that would be worthwhile post-Endgame. Who else is aware of that power? Where did it come from? Did the Mind Stone unlock it? So what Kevin Feige is alluding to here is that not only is Scarlet Witch stronger than Captain Marvel, but that we're going to get a deeper look at her powers and learn more about how she got them. You see, Marvel is making Scarlet Witch the first mutant in the MCU, and WandaVision will seemingly explore what might have happened because of the snaps in Infinity War and Endgame, basically setting up the introduction of the X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And when Kevin Feige once again says that the Mind Stone unlocked Wanda's powers, he's hinting at the fact that the Mind Stone is what activates the X-Gene. Feige then goes on to say that I love TV and watch far too much of it as a kid, from the Dick Van Dyke show to I Love Lucy, Bewitched, and everything in between. We also go all the way up to the Modern Family and The Office with the talk to the camera, shaky camera, and documentary styles. And we know that in the show we're going to be reliving, or actually living in these eras with Scarlet Witch and Vision. And we'll see the birth of Wiccan and Speed, their twins, who will grow up and near the end of the show will be teenagers getting ready to join the Young Avengers, making the show more modern and possibly even set in the present day. And we've heard before that the show will explore different sitcoms from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and all the way up to the modern day. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you excited for WandaVision? Did you expect it to be so focused on the sitcom aspect of the show? And who do you think is going to be the first X-Men character we see in the MCU? Wolverine, Professor X, Magneto, or someone else? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.